and welcome to today's class this is chapter 6 circles and um, few of the practice set is already completed practice set 6.2 is already completed and today we will be working on practice set 6.3 so what is new that we are going to learn today we will be studying first in circle of a triangle and second circum circle of a triangle now so in circle and circum circle what is the meaning of these two words so let's study what is in circle of a triangle so if you look at the picture here in circle the word itself explains it clearly right so a circle which is inside a triangle is called as in circle okay let us look at few properties of this in circle so the first thing is that the circle would fit inside the triangle okay and it is also called as inscribed circle because it is inside it is also called as inscribed circle and the second thing it is the largest circle that will fit and just touch each side of the triangle okay so it is the largest circle which would fit inside that triangle and the third property is that the name of the center the center of this circle is called as in center and how do we find this in center it's where each angle bisector meets so if we draw angle bisectors there is a point where all the bisectors would meet that point is called as in center okay students let us look at how to construct the in circle of a triangle so there is an example always when we are doing construction draw a rough diagram right so we draw a rough diagram like this we are asked to construct triangle pqr so here we have we should label it like that pqr the base pq is 6 cm and angle q is 35 degrees okay and here qr is 5.5 cm and we are asked to draw in circle to this triangle okay so let's begin yes so you all should be ready with the tools and we can work together on this okay so we require a protector scale and compass all right so the first step is to draw the base that is 6 cm okay so let's begin with drawing 6 cm also you can just check i guess there is some small error this should be 65 degrees okay so step 1 draw a line of 6 cm so here we begin drawing a line which is of 6 cm yes so that is 6 cm and when as soon as you draw it you should label it right so we label it this is point p this is point q and the distance is 6 cm next step is to draw this angle angle q which is 65 degrees so here we place the protector on point q and label 65 degrees so here you can see this is 65 degrees it would be right here and we move aside this protector join that point to point q to get 65 degrees okay and extend it nicely also draw arrow heads 
as soon as you draw label it so this is 65 degrees and then the next step we draw an arc on this ray q right to get the point r at 5.5 cm so we are going to take or measure this distance 5.5 in the compass okay so place the steel point of the compass on zero and and measure the distance 5.5 cm so i need 5.5 cm here you can see this is exactly 5.5 cm yes and you need to place the steel point on q place the steel point on q and draw the arc on this line okay that is of measure 65 degrees so place the steel point on q and here we draw an arc which is of 5.5 cm like that okay and this point is point r this point is point r so here we label it like that that is point r and quickly we are going to complete the construction of this triangle joining p to r we get the triangle so this completes the construction of triangle but we are asked to find the in circle right so step 1 step 1 always start with drawing the triangle step 1 draw the triangle which is given so draw triangle here it is pqr step 2 as soon as you draw the triangle for a in circle we require per, we require angle bisectors we require angle bisectors so the step 2 is draw any two angle bisectors any two angle bisectors okay you can choose any two angles and you need to draw angle bisectors okay and the point where the angle bisectors meet that is denoted by i you can see here that is i that is the center right center of that circle also called as in center so i stands for in center okay so here we are going to draw angle bisectors so which two angles can we consider here we can take angle q and angle p so let's do the construction let's draw angle bisectors so we start at point q okay now here you can take any random distance all right so take any random distance like this and then you need to draw two arcs or rather you can draw one complete arc just a minute here i'm just taking some distance and then you need to draw an arc so here we draw an arc like this an arc which would cut the complete angle q yes like that okay and we have two points now one point is this point you can see the arrow the arrow am the cursor yes so this is one point and this is the second point using these two points we are going to draw further two more arcs and that that will give us the construction to get the angle bisector okay so once you draw a arc like this you need to place the steel point on this point okay so place the steel point over here like this and now you can change the distance in the compass all right and draw another arc somewhere at the center like this okay so here i have drawn another arc like this okay and using the same distance you don't need to move uh, 
change the distance without disturbing that distance place the steel point on this end and now try to cross out that arc okay so we cross out the arc like this yes like that okay and this point of intersection this point we join this to the point q that gives us the angle bisector to q so here we join this point to q that gives us the angle bisector okay so once again let us look at how to draw angle bisector on angle p now so that it would be clear okay so we start at we start with placing the steel point on point p right and to draw the angle bisector you need to draw an arc right so here you can draw an arc take some distance some random distance less than any of those two sides okay so we take small distance like this and then yes and then we draw an arc which would cut both the sides so here we are drawing an arc which would cut both the sides yes like that okay and once you get this arc we have got two points again concentrate on the cursor this is one point this is the second point the point where this arc cuts the two sides of that angle okay so this point and this point we are going to place the steel point now so place the steel point at the first cut and again you can just resize take some more distance and then we will draw another two arcs so here you can draw one arc like this over here okay so we draw an arc like this and using the same distance place the steel point place the steel point on the other cut okay so here the blue arc has cut the side pq at this point so place the steel point over there and with the same distance try to cross out that arc so here we have we will cross out the arc okay that is how you get the point and now join this point to point p to get the angle bisector okay students isn't that easy so join this point that we have got now to point p that is the angle bisector to p okay and once you get the point of intersection of these two angle bisectors one angle bisector is the green one and the second is the blue one so the point where both of them meet that is the in center and you can label it as i okay so we label that point as i now the step 3 very important point step 3 that is the center but what will be the radius so radius will be the perpendicular distance of this center to any of those sides okay so draw perpendicular from the point i to any of the sides okay so draw perpendicular from i to any of the sides so let's draw perpendicular from i to let's say pq okay so that has to be 90 degrees so like this you can just it's like you can randomly draw a straight line okay so that it's perfectly 90 degrees once again let me draw that so here this is perpendicular to pq okay 
okay so we draw a perpendicular like that and this is the radius so once you have the radius the next step is to draw the circle so step 4 using that as the radius we can label this as m and im is the radius so step 4 using im as radius using im as radius we draw a circle and that would be the in circle right so using im as and remember this is perpendicular so you can just draw a small perpendicular sign like that all right and now we are going to draw the in circle so place the steel point at i and and take this distance i am as radius okay so i am as radius taking i am as radius you need to draw the circle now over here this is a bit difficult but let me try still if that is possible let's check okay so here this compass won't take that distance i am all right that it won't take that distance I am, but let me explain that step once again. You have to take the distance I am in the compass and draw a circle, okay? So you'll get a circle which would touch the sides of that triangle and the circle would completely lie inside the triangle just like this rough diagram, okay? That is how we construct in circle of any triangle, all right? Now let us look at the next topic, which is circumcircle. What is the meaning of circumcircle? So in circle is a circle inside the circle and circumcircle is a circle which is outside the circle. It is a circle which would touch all the vertices of a triangle, okay? So the circle that passes through all the vertices of a triangle, it is called as circumcircle, all right? And what is the center called as? The center is called as circumcenter. The center is called as circumcenter. Now, a very interesting point here is that this circumcenter can be inside or outside of the triangle. This is something very interesting. And whenever you do construction, don't get confused. Like, don't get worried if you get the circumcenter outside the circle because even though the center would lie outside the triangle, but still the, the circle would always pass through the vertices. Okay, this is something very interesting. And we will look at few examples on this. And the center is, and how do we find this center? So if we draw perpendicular bisectors to the sides, if we draw perpendicular bisectors to the sides of this triangle, the point where the perpendicular bisectors meet, that point is called as the circumcenter. And using that as the center, we can draw a circle with radius of from that, from that center to any of the vertex. Using that as radius, we will draw a circle, okay? Before we do the construction, let us look at what is exactly happening when we say that the center lies outside the circle and inside the circle exactly what is happening so let us look at two three examples just a minute yes so let me share another screen Yes, so here you can see, here on the screen you can see, this is a triangle ABC and you can see that here this point, this point is the center of the circle, right? This point is the center of the circle, the yellow circle, all right? And you can see this center lies outside the triangle ABC. Okay, so if a triangle is such that 
it has any one obtuse angle okay so this type of triangle that is a obtuse angled triangle will always have the center outside the triangle okay now just check what happens if i increase or if i change the triangle so here i'm just trying to change the or just trying to resize the triangle so that you understand that just check the center is still outside the triangle okay why is that outside the triangle because this is a obtuse angled triangle okay so remember first point for any obtuse angled triangle the circum center will always lie outside the triangle okay now what if that is a right angle triangle so i'm going to change this triangle to a right angle triangle yes this is a right angled triangle okay so remember for a right angle triangle remember for a right angle triangle the center will always lie on the hypotenuse okay the center will always lie on the hypotenuse just check this angle a is the right angle and bc is the hypotenuse so you see this center this center is on the hypotenuse all right so point number 2 to be noted is that for any right angled triangle for any right angled triangle the circum center will always lie on the hypotenuse okay now let us make it more interesting suppose this is a acute angle triangle okay here i am changing the triangle to so that it looks like a acute angle triangle all right so just check this is a acute angle triangle all right all the angles are acute and now you can see the center is inside the triangle okay so for any for any acute angle triangle the circum center will always lie inside the triangle okay this is these are the three points very very important points to remember for acute angle triangle the circum center will lie inside the triangle for a obtuse angle triangle let me change it quickly to obtuse angle yes this is an obtuse angle the circum center will always lie outside the triangle and for any right angle triangle over there that's a right angle triangle for any right angle triangle the circum center will always lie on the hypotenuse okay with that uh, let us quickly look at how to draw circum circum circle okay yes so how to construct the circum cent circle of a triangle so that's there is an example okay so the side of a triangle is given and two angles are given and we are asked to draw circum circle always draw a rough figure and label it okay so that is the rough figure and we should label it correct okay so let's begin with the construction there so we start with always start with drawing the given triangle okay so we begin with drawing the base which is 4.2 cm again just a minute yes so let us check if we are able to get the complete diagram over here on this slide so the rough diagram was a triangle which had base de 4.2 cm so quickly i'm going to draw it over here there is a triangle with base 4.2 cm that's de 
and that vertex is f the last vertex d is 60 degrees and e is 70 degrees angle d is 60 degrees and angle e is 70 degrees okay so we start with the drawing the base the base is 4.2 cm so there we begin drawing the base which is 4.2 cm now place the scale little above so that you have some room to draw the perpendicular bisector all right so here this is 4.2 cm okay and then quickly label it so labeling it this is d and this is e that is 4.2 cm okay and now we did this now draw those two angles so place the con the protector on point d and get 60 degrees so angle d is 60 degrees over there right join d to that point to get 60 degrees line like that and then place the protector on point e and mark the other angle which is 70 degrees so 70 degrees over here all right and we join this point e to that point so that we get an angle we get a triangle like that okay the point of intersection of those two lines is the point f all right always place arrow heads so step 1 step 1 draw the given triangle which was d e f over here step 2 we draw the perpendicular bisectors so draw any two any two perpendicular bisectors okay so here let's begin drawing the perpendicular bisectors so first we will draw perpendicular bisector for let's say df for the side df and how do we draw the perpendicular bisector we have to draw perpendicular bisector for df so take distance more than half right and without disturbing the distance we are going to mark arcs on left hand side and on right hand side so here we are drawing one arc on this side and we draw another arc on the other side like this okay and then place the steel point on f on the point f right and try to cross out those two arcs using the same distance using the same distance so here you see the arcs are still not crossed out so place back the steel point on point d and try to cross out those two arcs this is how you draw the perpendicular bisectors okay joining these two points we get the first perpendicular bisector this is the perpendicular bisector to side df same way we are going to draw another perpendicular bisector let's say for side ef this time okay for ef so how do we begin place the steel point on e on point e and now you need to measure distance more than half right so this is the side ef we need some distance more than half let's say this is more than half and then without disturbing the distance we are going to draw arcs on both the sides right so here this is the first arc we draw bigger one and then we draw arc on the other side of this side ef okay it won't let me draw but still i'm trying so there we draw another arc like this and with the same distance place the steel point on point f right and now we cross out these two arcs so here 
this arc has been crossed out we cross out the other arc also so cross out the other arc and joining these two points we will get the second perpendicular bisector so here i'm going to join these two points that gives us the perpendicular bisector to the side ef okay this is the perpendicular bisector to ef and earlier one this is the perpendicular bisector to side df the green one is for side df the blue one is for side ef and the point where these two perpendicular bisectors meet this is the circumcenter mark it as c okay so two steps are clear step 3 step 3 using c as the center and any one vertex use any one vertex take that distance as the radius so suppose if we use cf so using cf as radius we draw the circum we draw the circum circle using cf as radius draw the circle all right so here we are going to place the steel point on c and place the pencil on any of the vertex okay and then if you draw the circle that would exactly pass here i'm going to draw the circle so you can see now that completes the construction the circle would pass through each of the vertex okay so this is how you get the circum circle okay once again i will repeat the steps so step 1 draw the given triangle step 2 draw any two perpendicular bisectors once you draw the perpendicular bisectors the point where the perpendicular bisectors meet that point is the circum center once you get the circum center using that point as the center and any one vertex okay so it can be cf or it can be ce or it can be cd all of them are the radius all right so using cf we draw using cf as the radius we draw the circle and that completes the construction okay i hope this is very clear and now let us look at the practice set 6.3 So here, yeah, this is the first question. Construct triangle ABC such that triangle uh, such that angle B is hundred degrees. BC is six point four. Angle C is six fifty degrees. And we are asked to construct the in circle. All right. So step one, we will draw a rough diagram. Correct. So how would that look like? and it's time that you all should work out these problems with me okay so step 1 we are going to draw a triangle we are going to draw the rough diagram this is triangle abc where b is 100 degrees bc is 6.4 cm and angle c is 50 degrees and we are asked to draw the in circle so remember for a in circle we have to draw up uh, we have to draw angle bisectors right for in circle we have to draw angle bisectors okay so let's do the construction
Yes, the triangle was A, B, C, where angle B is 100 degrees, angle C is 50 degrees, and BC is 6.4 centimeters. Okay, so let me confirm you're on this, you're able to see my screen. Yes, and now we begin the construction. So step one, draw the triangle, right? Whatever is given. So 6.4 centimeters, we draw the base. So, and also you can see this is obtuse angle, 100 degrees. So leave some room on the left-hand side. Okay, and we start with drawing the base which is 6.4 centimeters. So here, this is 6.4 centimeters. That is BC. So this is B, this is C, this is 6.4 centimeters. On the point B, we need to draw 100 degrees. So mark the point 100 degrees over here, this is 100 degree. And we join that point to point B and extend it further, right? Next is we draw the as the projector such that the center is on point C and mark the point, mark 50 degrees. So over here, this is 50 degrees. Okay, over here, this is 50 degrees. And we join point C to this point and extend it further so that we get the triangle. Okay, now roughly, I am not able to get this triangle. So what am I going to do? We should have you know, placed it a little below. So let me draw that again really quick. So the base is 6.4 centimeters and this is BC. On B, we need 100 degrees. So here with the help of rect projector, we are marking 100 degrees over here and we join that point to the point B like that and extend it. Okay, and next on point C, we need, on point C, we need 50 degrees. So there on point C, we mark 50 degrees. There, this is 50 degrees. Join the point C to that point and extend it to get the triangle. Now, there, you are able to see the triangle, okay? So step one is complete here. Step one, draw triangle ABC, where this triangle ABC had base 6.4 centimeters. This is 6.4 centimeters, always label. This is 100 degrees. This is 50 degrees, right? And step two. What is step two? We draw any two angle bisectors. Draw any two angle bisectors. And how do we draw the angle bisectors? Let's draw the angle bisector, let's say for angle B and angle C. So label this as vertex A. Now we begin by drawing angle bisector to angle B, okay? So for angle B, how do we begin? Take some random distance and draw an arc such that the arms of that angle B would get crossed out. Okay, so like that. We draw an arc so that the arms of that angle B get, get crossed out. Okay, and now using these two points, we are going to draw another two arcs. Okay, so there place the steel point on the first point where the arc gets cut with the side BC and we need to keep this distance fixed. So here we draw an arc like this. Now place the steel point on the other point where the arc has cut 
side a b okay and cross out this arc so here we cross out this arc that gives us this point of intersection using that point of intersection we join that to point b this is the angle bisector of point b okay now let us draw angle bisector to point c so how do we begin start with placing the steel point at c like that and take some random distance and cross out the angle c cross out the angle c such that the arc would cut both the sides of angle c so you see this is the angle c a c b and the blue arc has cut both the sides okay using these two points we are going to draw another two arcs okay so another two arcs and you have to keep this distance fixed because we have to cross out that arc right so place the steel point on this point where the arc has cut side bc and now draw one arc like that so we draw one arc like that and using the same distance do not disturb the distance using the same distance we are going to cross out that arc right place the steel point on this point and now we are going to cross out that arc there and that is how we get this point of intersection of this arcs and now join that point to point c this is the angle bisector of angle c all right once we get the angle bisectors what is the next step step 3 very important we have the center now this point is is i that is the in center correct we have the center but we need the radius so how do we get the radius draw im perpendicular to bc okay so draw a perpendicular from this point i to any of the sides to any of the sides okay so that should be a straight line straight line down that would form a t right with the base yes so there you can draw a perpendicular um, perpendicular from the point i to any of the sides okay over here let's say you can just imagine that to be a, a t an inverted t right so i am not able to get it uh, perfect here okay so i'm going to draw it roughly on any of the sides you can draw a perpendicular distance okay all right it won't let me draw so i'm going to place it there itself and now place the center of the compass on point i because that's the center and now resize this compass so that it touches the sides of the triangle right because the circle is going to pass in such a way that it touches all the sides of the triangle so just check just make sure that it touches the yes that you just take the perpendicular distance as the radius okay and now try to check if you are able to touch the other sides of the triangle also so the two sides yes there and now if you draw the circle here i'm going to use pink color so using that distance using this i m as the radius just check students very carefully i am using this distance i m as the radius using i m as the radius you can draw a circle like that which is the in circle okay that completes the construction all right so step 4 over here let me write down for you step 4 using i m as the radius using i m as radius draw the circle or draw the in circle okay that completes the construction on how to do this in circle on how to draw the in circle okay so what have we seen we saw how to draw circum circle very basic things to 
like don't get confused in how to draw circum circle and how to draw circum center for circum circle this is circum circle which touches the vertices okay this is circum circle for circum circle you need perpendicular bisectors okay you need perpendicular bisectors whereas for in circle this is in circle which is inside the triangle for in circle you need angle bisectors okay for in circle you need angle bisectors all right so let us quickly recap on what we did in today's class so we have seen how to draw in circle and circum circle but very important points to remember the first point in circle would always touch all the sides okay since it's inside the circle it would touch all the sides and the circum circle it passes through all the vertices of the triangle okay again very important point for constructing the in circle just now we have revised this for drawing the in circle for constructing the in circle we need any two angle bisectors remember this for in circle we require the angle bisectors and for constructing the circum circle we require any two perpendicular bisectors okay apart from this few other important points is that for a circum center for a circum circle the center can lie inside the triangle or outside the triangle and we saw the three cases case 1 if it is an acute angle triangle the center will lie inside the triangle and the second case was if it is a right angled triangle the center will is, is always the midpoint of the hypotenuse it always lies on the hypotenuse okay and the third case if it is a obtuse angled triangle then the circum center it would lie in the exterior of the triangle it would lie outside the triangle okay and this is about in center in center of any triangle it will always lie in the interior of the triangle it won't go outside it would always lie inside the triangle so remember these very basic points to draw the in circle and circum circum circle and you can try out the remaining questions of practice set 6.3 as homework so that's all for today students thank you for joining Yes, teacher. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.